Hey guys, Everything for Tech here. In what I'm hoping to be a really quick video, I'm going to be doing a review, an app review, on an app called Hippo Remote. Um, you guys may have heard of this, it's been out in the App Store for a while. Um, I just thought I'd give you my take on this app. Um, let me just put my iPhone on the side. I have my iPad here. Um, so it is free in the App Store. Um, there is a paid version, the Pro. You get a few more features uh, of what I'm going to be showing you. So, in a summary, this basic, this app lets you control your Mac, PC, or Linux computer um, by using the, this as a mouse. Um, this as in being an iPad, an iPhone, or iPod. One second, I'm gonna let my dog out. Um, so, this is a really cool app and it really is convenient uh, when you use it in the right situations. Um, I have a video coming up right after this that shows you my setup of how I mirror my Mac onto my t TV and use it sit in my bed with this in my lap and use it as a mouse. Um, so when you first start up your your app here, you're gonna get on this screen and it says add connection, set up connection, and it gives you the detected computers. Now, on your computer, you're going to need an app called Hippo Connect. I'll have the link in the description, uh, and that just basically allows your computer, to, your P iPod, iPad, or iPhone, to find your computer. So I have my MacBook Pro and localhost. You want to click localhost and when you set up the app on your computer you want to, uh, there's a password it's going to ask you for. I just did 0000, zero, zero, zero. Um, and just keep in mind that your I, whatever device, I device you're using and the computer you're using has to be on the same Wi-Fi network. So I just hit done. It's connecting and it connected. Unfortunately I can't show you it working <laughs> on my uh, computer because it's up in my room, but um, I can go over the the gist of the features. Um, so here you have the trackpad, that's your first screen you see, and you can use that uh, in portrait or landscape. Let me just switch it over. See, you can use it in a landscape there. Um, I choose to do a portrait, um, and in portrait you can at the top here you see a few things. At least I hope you see a few things. Let's zoom in. So you can see it says trackpad, it has a little keyboard icon, and then settings. So let's go into settings quickly. That's, that's settings. All right. Um, and unfortunately, as you probably noticed already, this is only for the iPhone. Um, so it's going to be a little stretched, but it doesn't really bother me because it does work pretty well. So under settings, you have a few settings. I'm going to quickly go over. You have disconnect, track speed, which is the mouse, scroll speed, which is how you scroll, it does do two finger scrolling, um, auto rate, I don't know what these exactly are. Um, you can choose a wallpaper which is pretty cool. I'm going to just choose a picture I took of my phone and I'll show you what that does in a second. Um, you're going to have more track options, trackpad options, and these are different options you have here um, which you can do like pinch to zoom or unpinch and tap. I think you can you type the action. Yeah, you type what you want to, what you say, and then once you type that, it'll come up and it'll do exactly what uh, thing you chose. What gesture? Now, um, let's just quickly go over the other settings. You're gonna have auto correction. This is for the keyboard settings, um, which is a pretty cool thing. And again, there's just more. A lot of these settings, like the more track options, you're going to need a pro version, unfortunately. Um, but the basic options pretty much work pretty well. If you just like the scrolling, the moving the mouse around, and the typing, it works really, really well. Um, so you can go pro or you can remove ads, but that's again going pro. So obviously there is a few ads. So as you can see, that picture I chose, um, it is as my this is my trackpad now, which is pretty cool. Um, so you can add some personality to the app here. Um, and on the bottom you have a click. Um, I don't know what click this is. I think it's like the click and then you can drag around like the old, is that what it is? No, sorry, see ads. Ads. I don't know what that does. Anyways, um, at the top here you have left click and right click which is pretty cool, and again, the mouse. So you can do the two-finger scrolling. Unfortunately, you can't pinch to zoom. 
Um, well, you can pinch the zoom, but you can't do four fingers up because four fingers up on the iPad will do this, at least on iOS 5. Um, now I'm going to just, once you click trackpad at the top here, it brings up a keyboard. Now you have your basic keyboard, obviously. This is for the iPhone and iPod, um, but it works well. And then you have your basic controls up here, like command, and I think that's shift, and this would be escape. Yeah, that's escape or something like that. Um, so you have basic controls here. On the top left, if you click the keyboard icon, let me just zoom in again. Um, you're going to see, I don't know why this adds up here, it's some kind of glitch. Um, you can type here, I don't exactly know what that's for, but I don't use it. Um, when you, again, if you click into the keyboard and you go to arrows, you're going to have all these different uh, buttons here, like escape, page up, page down, insert, Shift, Command, Delete, Tab, and the arrows up, down, left, right. I guess if you want to play um, your games, <laughs> if that works. Um, if you slide over here, um, which is a cool little animation, um, you, can, you have your F keys. I don't really have to go over them. F1 through 12. Um, you have Home, Print Screen, and End. So it does give you a full-fledged keyboard, which is really nice. So hopefully this video is becoming like seven minutes long. That is my app review. Hopefully you guys liked it. Hopefully I gave you all the information you needed. If you have any questions, comment down below. Like it, that would be appreciated. You can do the reaction thing in the corner that's new to YouTube. Um, you can subscribe at the top for more videos coming up. And you can check out my other videos if you'd like. Anything on iPhone 4S should be there. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so that is my video. Hopefully you guys liked it. And again, it works on the iPhone 4S. Uh, iPhone 4, all iPhones, and it does work on the iPods as well. Uh, so hopefully you guys like this video. See you in the next one.